Have you ever recorded a voiceover, maybe for a Let's Play or for a tutorial? You do all this work and recording and then you go to edit it and you realize that your sound levels are completely off. Maybe your volume is too loud for your voice or the volume for the game is too loud or maybe the background audio is too loud. Maybe something like this. So guys, I'm going to show you this Bakuman combo tutorial. Hopefully the audio is good. But to be honest, since I'm doing this as an example, I know that there's going to be a lot of problems there. All right, so if you've ever had that sort of a problem, I'm going to show you a trick to help you make sure that this never happens to you again. Now this specifically works with recording, which is really good for like YouTube content and stuff like that. So what you do is you can go to settings in the bottom right, and then you click output. Now for streaming, I just leave it on one audio track, but so specifically for recording, what I do is I have multiple audio tracks enabled here. You can do as up to five, but the way that I do it is like this. So if you click the gear here, advanced audio properties, what you would do normally, these are like all selected for all tracks. So the main thing to make sure is that your desktop audio or your gameplay audio is recording on one of the tracks and then your mic is recording on a different track. So this is on track two. So basically what this lets you do is when you edit your video in post, so I'll actually show you like a real time example right now, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in. This is what I just recorded to make this video. And this, I'm gonna drag this into Vegas Pro. This is Vegas Pro 14, it's pretty old, but it still works, so I use it. Anyway, the point here is, you can see that I've recorded to different audio tracks, so. So guys, I'm gonna show you this Rockermom combo tutorial. Hopefully the audio is good. All right, so what you guys can see right there is that the audios were like clashing with each other. The mic volume is on the bottom and the game volume is on the top. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop the game volume down and then see how it sounds. Rockermom combo tutorial. Hopefully the audio is good. Uh, and let me drag it down just a little bit more. This is just an example, really doing this as an example. I know that there's going to be a lot of problems here. And yeah, the audio sounds way better like that. You can tweak it to your liking. You can add a bunch more tracks. The only thing to really be aware of is make sure that your video editor can play files that have multiple audio tracks on them. So for example, I know the uh, video editor I have down here, Cyberlink Power Director. I don't know about the newest version of Power Director, but for sure the version I have, which is Power Director 18. Oh, it cannot properly play files that have multiple audio tracks. And that's how you can fix your audio by recording to multiple audio tracks in OBS.